Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of uh, April 16th through to the 23rd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Happy birthday to any of you celebrating a birthday at this time. Hope you have a fabulous one. So let's get to your reading, Taurus. First card up is the Seven of Swords reversed, followed then by the Eight of Pentacles upright, the Nine of Swords reversed, followed then by the Queen of Swords in the upright, and lastly, Major Arcana, the World in the upright. So your overall energy is the Seven of Swords in the reverse position, also known as the Little Scoundrel in the, up, <laughs> in the upright position, <laughs> representing sometimes someone who is... Uh, not so credible, somebody who could be trying to steal your belongings, run off with, you know, steal your ideas. <coughs> it's about someone who doesn't want to take the consequences of a dishonorable act. When the card is inverted, however, this is where um, the thief gets caught or the scoundrel gets exposed, that kind of thing. For others of you, a lot of times the Seven of Swords in the upright represents avoidance. It could be somebody avoiding you, you avoiding someone else, or avoiding a topic, a subject, that kind of thing. But when the card is inverted, this can represent no longer avoiding, dealing with, talking about, talking to, or what have you. This is about taking the bull by the horns, <laughs> pardon the pun, and just making it happen. Just saying, okay, I'm not going to avoid this any longer. I'm going to deal with whatever I've got to deal with. Uh, right at the beginning of the week, you have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. This is the worker bee energy. This is nose to the grindstone where you're just sort of thinking, hey, I just have to mind my business right now and get things accomplished, get things done. So this could be you at the beginning of the week. Just maybe it was something you were avoiding. And whether it be anything from spring cleaning to um, maybe, you know, uh, getting everything together to donate, those kinds of things. I know those types of scenarios can be a pain in the butt. And a lot of times we don't want to deal with it. But maybe this week, it could be the case for some of you, you have just decided to, that's it, I'm going to go through my stuff, I'm going to donate, I'm going to have a garage sale, whatever the situation may be, I'm just going to work at it. Others of you, this could be something you have been avoiding dealing with at work, and maybe it's a project that you kept putting on the back burner, and it's like, okay, it's time to deal with this now. So you're just kind of, you know, working at it. Others of you, it could have been a relationship situation that you were avoiding, and now you're saying, okay uh, let's let's just get her done now I want to make sure that we work on this and and you know get some progress going next card up is the nine of swords in the reverse position indicating a relief um, of anxiety nine of swords in the upright position can point to a lot of anxiety now maybe some of you this was connected to this thing that you're avoiding maybe in the avoidance stage you were very much uh, anxious about how things were going to turn out or you know when should i get started on this when should i do it that kind of thing some of you could have had nine different things on your mind disrupting your sleep or, you know, enable it, not even enabling you to get any sleep. Um, for others of you, just too much mental activity causing extreme anxiety. When the card is inverted, however, this can be where there's finally some rest. The mind is not going anymore. And I feel it's because you're dealing with this situation, the Seven of Swords situation. You decided to nose to the grindstone, just start working on it, and now you feel better. Now it's not, you're not up in your head anymore about it. You're not worrying about it anymore because you've taken action now. Um, next card you have here is the Queen of Swords in the upright position. A court card could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. For some of you, uh, this could be a person external to you that you're dealing with towards the end of the week. This could be somebody who's very straightforward, shoots from the hip. Now remember, you could embody the energies of the Queen of Swords and you could be that person who wants to have that no-nonsense conversation with somebody. Or this could be somebody wanting to have that no-nonsense conversation with you. Either way, it's like everything is coming out in, in the open now. Uh, it could be all connected here, you know, this... Um, 
this seven of swords situation whatever it is or whoever it was you're avoiding it's like you're dealing with this now head on so towards the end of the week there could be um some serious conversations that need to take place about this especially if it was a legal matter perhaps you were taking to somebody to court or things like that this could be speaking with a lawyer remember the queen of swords is is that no nonsense person who uh, is interested in in the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth they do not want to mince their words they do not want to dilly dally around or pussyfoot around a situation they just want straight talk so this could be for some of you you're dealing with you know a legal situation and that would make a lot of sense for others of you this could just be someone else who is involved perhaps you were avoiding having this conversation with this person now the time has come so it looks like you're just you know getting things out of the way and why is that because look at the last card you have here the world in the upright position so this can be that you're changing your world or your world is changing on you and there's no way you can avoid it any longer um a lot of you who've watched the uh the taurus readings for a while uh, know that i've mentioned from time to time i still will be doing the special uh astrology Taurus reading later on in the year for you guys but you've been in the final descent where Jupiter is now sort of uh, wiping the slate clean for you so that you can start fresh and start new this can be some for some of you world travel some of you could be graduating and getting ready to start you know a career others of you could be closing out a career and getting ready to start something completely different Others of you, like I said, could be traveling the world. Some of you are going to be moving across the world. Others of you could be looking at retiring, maybe after a long career. You could be looking at selling your home after you've owned it for many years and you've raised your family there. Maybe you're downsizing now, that kind of stuff. It's something major that is being closed out here for you now. And, um, you know, the time has come and it looks like you're ready to, you know, take this on. You want to take the bull by the horns. And uh, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below, Taurus, if you are taking the bull by the horns this week. And, um, you know, having this conversation, maybe some of you are having this, you know, forthright conversation with someone. You're just sort of laying it on the line. This is the decisions I've made. This is what's happening now. And um, it's time that we just, you know, deal with the facts as they are. So this is a closing out of a cycle so that we can start another cycle. Now this, again, like I said, makes sense with the Jupiter position happening Taurus you will be closing out your cycle at the end of this year in December and starting fresh starting anew so generally in the 12th house which is where you are right now with Jupiter it becomes a case of where we start closing the doors and this could be the case for some of you right now you're closing the door some of you are making your moves now you're not even going to wait until the new you're getting a jump on it <laughs> so that's what I have for you my dear Taurus looks pretty intense. Definitely let us know in the comment section below what's going on with you guys and if this is resonating and how so. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you have a fantastic week and I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye for now.